yo what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel and in today this video i will be showing you the best five easy solo clothing glitches all in one video and this also does work on all platforms and this also does work for the female and male character as well and as the video does go on the glitches do get better but if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification as well let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video now i will be showing you on how to get a dunce cap now just make sure you have your saved outfit ready to go that you want the dunce cap with now this part is optional you can either get reported through the gta online menu for griefing this won't ban your account it will just basically get you a dunce cap and send you to bad sport now, if you do not want to do it that way, you would just basically need to blow up tons of personal vehicles. Not your personal vehicle, more of online players. So you have to blow up random strangers or you could blow up your friend's personal vehicles. But I honestly recommend getting reported through online griefing because you can save tons of money. But if you want to know once you're near getting the dunce cap on your saved outfit, on the bottom left, it will be saying a little message. It says that Bassport is basically on the way. Behave yourself. Continue to get reported or blow up personal vehicles. And eventually, when you either die or spawn into a next session, you should see the dunce cap appear on your saved outfit. Like this. Now, the only bad thing about this is that once you do get the dunce cap, you can't really play with your online friends, depending if this is your first time going into Bassport, you will only be in Bassport for roughly about two days IRL. But yeah, guys, make sure once you do get the dunce cap, you won't be able to save it or change outfits, but you will always have it if you never change your outfit. But yeah guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's move on to the second clothing glitch of this video. Glitch, I will be showing you on how to get a FIB badge on any of your saved outfits. Now just make sure you have your saved outfit ready to go. Now if you do not have an arcade business, you can always tell a buddy to lend you his arcade business. And it doesn't matter which arcade business it is, the glitch will still work. Now you will need to register as CE or, or MC, it doesn't matter which one you register as. Now afterwards, go over to your arcade business, go over to the heist prep board right here, and start with the prep called hacking device. It should be a picture with Lester on there. Now this should be spawning you outside of the arcade business. And if you did spawn in with the suit, just basically make your way over to the nearest ammunition store now if you did not spawn in with the suit just basically put find new session and continue to do the heist prep to you spawn in with the suit now it did take me a few tries to spawn in with the suit now once you're at the nearest ammunition store go over to the clothing rack on the wall right here now go over to the saved outfits and select the saved outfit you do want the FIB badge on. It doesn't matter which one you do select. Now afterwards, make your way over to the yellow destination marker on the map. Now once you're there, you will need to kill off all the agents. Now if you do die during the agents, don't worry, the glitch will still work. Now after you do kill off all the agents, it will be telling you to pick up the security pass. Now the security pass will be the FIB badge. Now once you do pick it up, you should see the FIB badge appear on your character's outfit like this. Now, on the final step, make your way over to the nearest ammunition store. And once you're there, go over to the outfit section once again. And make sure you save it as an outfit at least once. And this part's up to you. You can either finish the mission or just put find new session. And you will always have the mission ready to go in case you do want the FIB badge on on a different outfit. Now guys, let's move on to the other glitch of this video. 
Now, I will be showing you an easy and cool way on how to get any designer t-shirt logo on a black leather jacket. Now, this glitch is really simple to do. Now, just make your way over to any clothing store on the map. It doesn't matter which one you go to. Now, go inside. Go over to the front counter. Go over to the biker outfits. And on the biker outfits, select the last one. It is called the zombie. So purchase this one. Now afterwards, head over to the top section. Now once you're at the top section, you will need to go over to the section called designer t-shirts. And as you can see, once you cycle through the designer t-shirts, it will be able to let you transfer over any designer t-shirt logo on the leather jacket. Now the awesome thing about this glitch is that you will be able to change the pants, the gloves, the shoes, the mask, and helmet. And once you done save this as an outfit, this designer t-shirt leather jacket is all yours. Now let's move on to the other glitch of this video. Now you will be needing a auto shop. If you do not own a auto shop, you could tell a buddy or a stranger to lend you his auto shop. And it doesn't matter which the, the location, the auto shop, it is, the glitch will still work. Now, you will need to go over to the contract boards. And the mission you do want to start, it is called the bank contract. It should be all the way at the bottom. Now, this will cost you about 178000 Now, after you do start it up on the bank contracts, it should be saying something about thermal charges. You will need to start up the mission called Thermal Charges. This one will be giving you the Camel Blue Duffel Bag. Now, if you do die during the mission, don't worry. The glitch will still work. I died during the mission when I was trying to fly away. Now, it doesn't matter which location it tells you to pick up the Thermal Bag, which it should be the Blue Camel Bag. The glitch will still work as well. Now, once you're at the Yellow Destination Marker, you will be needing to kill off all the police officers and every single person that is there. Now, once you do kill off everyone, it will say to steal the thermal charges, which will be the blue camel duffel bag. Now, on this next part is, you will be needing to lose the cops after you pick up the duffel bag. Once you do lose the cops, you will be needing a flying vehicle. And it doesn't matter which flying vehicle it is, the glitch will still continue to work. Now, once you do lose the cops and you're in your flying vehicle, you will need to go over to your auto shop and fly really high near the auto shop. Now, you will need to jump out of your flying vehicle. It doesn't matter which one it is. Now, you will be needing to open up your parachute. Now, this part's very important. All you want to do is glide into the auto shop where the yellow marker is. So basically, if you did it correctly, all you want to do is land directly into the yellow marker and it should be putting you into a black screen. It should be loading you into the auto shop basically like this. Now, once you do load in, you should see the duffel bag disappear off your character like this. Now, you will be needing to exit the auto shop. Now, once you do exit the auto shop, once again, you will be needing any sort of flying vehicle for the next two steps. Now, you will need to go over to any ammunition store on the map, go over to the front counter, go to the parachutes, go to the parachute bags, and you will need to purchase the Israel troop bag. For some odd reason, it only works for the Israel troop bag. Now back out from the front counter, open up your interaction menu, and you will be needing to equip the Israel troop bag on through your interaction menu like I did. Now this comes where you need the flying vehicle. This part's very, very important. Now with your flying vehicle, you will need to fly really high near the mast or like this. Now, all you want to do is make sure you jump out of your flying vehicle and open up your parachute right after. You will be needing to glide into the mass store. So if you're on console, it's either LB and RB for Xbox or L1 or R1 for PS4. And this also does work on PC as well. Now, 
All you want to do is glide into the mask store. So the part you glide into the mask store where the masks are on these shelves like this. You will need to continue to spam right on the D-pad till the mask store opens up for you like this. If you did it correctly, make sure you save this as an alpha once. Now back out from the mask store and walk away from the mask store at least like 5 or 10 feet. And open up your interaction menu and apply the saved outfit you just made and you should see the new blue camo duffel bag. Now, the cool thing about this is, is it does save. Now, if you did die during the parachute part, all you want to do is just get back on any flying vehicle and re-jump from the flying vehicle into the master. Only if you did mess up. If you guys want more clothing glitches like this, let's get this video up to 100 likes. Catch on the next GTA 5 online video. The black duffel bag on a certain outfit, make sure you have the outfit ready to go and you have it on right now. Now, you would need to register as CEO or MC, it doesn't matter. Now, you would need to request a terabyte. And if you do not own a terabyte, you can always tell a friend or a stranger to lend you his. Now, you would need to enter the terabyte, go over to this touchscreen device. Now, go over to the client jobs and start up the job called a robbery in progress. Now, accept the alert then all you want to do is find the bank that's getting robbed. And also, it doesn't matter which bank that's getting robbed, the glitch will still work. Now, once you do find the bank that's getting robbed, all you want to do is make your way over to the bank. And also, if you do die during the mission, the glitch will still work, so you don't have to worry about that. Once you're at the bank, all you want to do is kill off the police officers. Then right after, kill off the juggernaut. Then you would need to make your way inside of the bank, kill off the two bank robbers, and pick up the black duffel bag. Now on this next part, you will be needing a flying vehicle, and it doesn't matter which flying vehicle it is. Then basically just lose the cops once you pick up the duffel bag. Then make your way over to the yellow destination drop off point, and it doesn't matter which uh, drop off point it is as well, just make your way over there. You will need to fly really high near the drop off point like this. Now jump out of your flying vehicle. Then open up your parachutes. And all you want to do is try to land directly into the yellow drop off point. Now if you do not land directly into it, it's fine. Now once you do land into the drop off point, you should see the black duffel bag disappear off your character like this. Now that's fine. All you want to do is make your way over to the closest ammunition store. It doesn't matter which one you go to as well. You will need to go over to the front counter. Go over to the parachutes. Go to parachute bags. And you will need to purchase the Israel shoot bag. It should be a blue and white one. Now back out from the front counter. Open up interaction menu. And equip the Israel shoot bag on your saved outfit like this. Then you will need any sort of flying vehicle for this next part. Then you will need to make your way over to the mast door and fly really high near the mast door like this. And once you're there, you will need to jump out of your flying vehicle. Then open up your parachutes. And all you want to do is glide into the mast door. So this part's very important. Once you're gliding into the mast door, you will need to continue to spam right on the D-pad till the mask door opens up for you. If you did it correctly, the mask door should open up for you like this. Now, save this as an outfit. Now, back out from the mask store, at least like 5 or 10 feet. And apply the saved outfit you just made. And you should see the black duffel bag transfer over to your saved outfit. And if you're wondering if you did mess up on the black duffel bag part, all you want to do is basically get in the flying vehicle once again and jump out of the flying vehicle and try to glide into the mass door if you only did mess up on the part. And also, if you're wondering on how to change your outfit with the black duffel bag, all you want to do is choose the option to kill yourself or use a sticky bomb to blow yourself up. And you can cycle through the outfits once again. And if you're wondering on how to get the black duffel bag on your outfit, just basically apply the outfit with the black duffel bag and you should see the black duffel bag appear again but yeah guys hopefully i did enjoy this video 
give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and if you haven't followed me on Twitter or Instagram, or if you haven't joined my Discord, all links down below in the video description. But yeah guys, hopefully I did enjoy this video. Catch you on the next GTA 5 online.